Hey guys, how's it going? Brandon here and welcome back you guys to another Pokemon Team Builder. Today we are continuing on our Mono Water Team Builders. Generation 5 this time around, of course, Pokemon Black and White. Uh, of course, before we get this underway, quick disclaimer like always, just to say that it's opinion based. Uh, if you want to use uh, other water types throughout this region, then go ahead and do so with the vast uh, new Pokemon that Generation 5 bought. There are obviously some different options that you can go for. Um, I've just given you guys a nice set of mods that you can use throughout the game, of course. Um, but if you guys do want to change anything about the team, then go ahead and do so. But also make sure to let me know in the comment section below. But with that being said, you guys, let's go with this. All right, then, you guys. So first up on the team, of course, we have our starter, which in this case is Samurai. I would point out now that uh, the sprites that I have that I usually use for these only actually got to Generation 4. So Generation 5 onwards, any mods from Generation 5 onwards, I'm going to have to be using their shiny sprites. But again, you get the idea. It's the mod that's in front of us. Uh, for this one, of course, Samurott is going to be our starter. Uh, makes sense, of course, being the water starter. Don't know how more obvious that could actually be. Um, in terms of what I've gone for at this time, I actually have gone with a special Samurott. Normally, I am the sort of type of guy to maybe run a mixed or a physical one because it gets access to things like Megahorn. Uh, but in this case, a special one actually suited it better. We've gone with Surf, Scold, Blizzard, and Grass Knot. I originally had Ice Beam uh, and then redid my research for these games. Like I said, I've been trying to do a lot more research and make sure that the teams are foolproof. Uh, Ice Beam is actually post game, which really annoyed me because uh, I think I had Ice Beam like three mons and then suddenly I had to swap things around because it was post game and all over the place. But Surf, Blizzard, Grass, not Skull, Skull for the choice, chance of burn, base 80, really, really good move that was introduced in Generation 5. Grass, not again, just cover your weaknesses, why not? Um, Blizzard, why not? It's there, hard hitting Ice type move, be able to hit those uh, Grass types. Surf, naturally going to go on any special attacker. Uh, fantastic one to use in game. Uh, one thing that Gen 5 always did say was that uh, the uh, designs got let down in terms of like starters and stuff. It's probably the weakest generation in terms of starters. I think Samurott's a really cool starter. I think it's very unique, uh, very different. I've gone with a Timber Nature base, 108 special attack. I felt was enough. Let's give it that plus in speed just to help out a bit more. Like I said, you can run it mixed with things like X's, uh, Swords Dance, Mega Horn. Um, it does get access to uh, physical uh, water type moves as well. Um, so you can mix and match and do what you please. This time around I went for a special one. It's our starter. It's brilliant. We love it. It's Samurai. On to Pokemon number two, you guys. And we have the Dracovish Destroyer itself. It is Seismitoad. Of course, obviously Dracovish wasn't around back then. Uh, but at the time of recording the uh, OU meta, uh, when OU, first OU meta coming for Sword and Shield, uh, this thing was the, the best water absorb user. And in game, I don't think I've ever gone through a bunch of Gen 5 mono team builders without having this thing on the team. It's probably the most one of the most viable water types to have in the game. Of course, that water ground typing being only weak to grass makes it very viable in the games. So having only one weakness makes it very good. Uh, in terms of what I've gone for, um, I've gotten this as a utility seismitoad. So no stab water type move on it. Um, and that's because its moveset really does like go Generation 5 it's really difficult, I know I've used it quite a lot in Generation 5 big team builders, but it's really difficult in terms of its moveset, it can't decide, like if this thing could learn Earth Power, then flat out it would be a special attacker, you'd run Surf, Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, and it would be fine. Um, normally you can run it mixed, I think I run it mixed for some of the team builders like Surf, Drain Punch, um, Sludge Bomb, and Earthquake. Uh, this time around I've just gone full out physical, it's going to be a Rain Dance user, because 9 times out of 10 you're going to get a Swift Swim Seismitoad, so if you can boost up that rain, boost up its speed to do a bit more uh, to outspeed those things, which is why we've gone with Adamant Nature, because also it's attacking to it's like only 85. This thing can take a hit though, that's the one good thing about this thing is 100% will take a hit for you no matter what. Uh, 75 defense across the board, but that base 105 HP really makes it that bulkier side. Uh, poison Jab, Earthquake, Drain Punch, Stab Earthquake, Adamant, uh, Adamant Stuff, uh, can't speak, Adamant Earthquake, gonna do damage. Poison Jab, Drain Punch, bit of coverage with these mono teams, uh, you really do lack coverage in them, so I'm trying to build it around where Mons have different variety of moves so you can hit all sorts of things. Uh, there's not a Caldeo on the team, obviously, because it's legendary, so we haven't got a fighting type on the team. Um, there's no Tentacruel this time around, so Poison Jab to have a Poisonous in there. Obviously, Ground is Stab as well, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, really, really solid Mon in-game. Uh, definitely use one if you haven't already yet. So our second team member, it's Seismitoad. On to Pokemon number three then you guys, and we have Basculin, one of the most overlooked Pokemon coming out of Generation 5 period. What you wanna do with this thing is you wanna make sure 100,000% that you get one with the ability Adaptability. Yes, it can be nice to have one with Rockhead and click Double Edge and everything, but you get one with Adaptability, suddenly Stab goes from a 1.5 bonus to a two, so it doubles in power. 
which means waterfall and aqua jet adamant nature base 92 base 98 speed definitely wants to be adamant boost up those physical attacks this thing does hit really hard it's very underrated especially in game it hits really hard crunch of return again just a bit of coverage hard hitting physical moves return because why not again there's no normal type on the team so why not crunch because it gets it and i thought you know what might just stick it in there those use those uh, big strong teeth for a reason uh, really overlooked this thing in my opinion uh, again it's not really going to take a hit but nine times out of ten the adaptability waterfall is going to do a lot um, even a special one base 80 special attack adaptability boosted surf from this thing is going to do a good amount of damage um, so you can run this thing multiple different ways uh, aqua jet's there because it did kind of run out of moves to put on it i would say that's the one downside to this thing in generation 5 again like seismic toad it's lack of things to actually put on it so aqua jet just for if you do need a priority against something that might possibly be faster than you it's there it's going to do a little bit more damage again because of adaptability so it's nice uh really underrated i feel like a lot of people wouldn't have seen this one coming and wouldn't have considered this thing to be part of it but it's very good please definitely give it a go if you haven't already it's our third team member it's basket on to Pokemon number four then, you guys, and we have the fossil that is Caracosta. Uh, I own one of the um, better, probably, fossils of the region. I know I'm a massive Archeops stan, and I do love Archeops a lot, but that defeatist ability really does let it down. So this time around, of course, we're grabbing the water type that is Caracosta. Uh, this thing does really well. Um, base 108 attack, base 133 defense. Uh, I'm running Shell Smash on this thing because it speeds 32, so it's crap. So double that to at least base 64 is going to give it some viability, plus you're going to be doubling that attack to whatever. You know the stats don't always add up. Waterfall Crunch, Shell Smash, Rock Smash, uh, Rock Slide, sorry. Makes perfect sense in my opinion. Waterfall, Rock Slide, good stab moves. Shell Smash to boost up your speed and your attack and your special attack. If you wanted to run it special, it just does have base 83 special attacks. If you wanted to run mixed, it definitely does it. Crunch again because it can learn it. You can you could swap that out for anything else that it wanted to learn. Um, maybe even Earthquake if it does actually get it. But yeah, really, really solid Mon. Really overlooked in my opinion. Um, solid water type. It's a fourth team member. It's Caracosta. Pokemon number five then, you guys. And we have the elegance, the beauty that is Swanner. Now, I feel like a lot of people overlook this thing with the stigma of water, water flying and obviously the massive common weakness of electric being overlooked. But on a mono water team, this thing really fits the fits the bill no pun intended um yeah so water flying surf hurricane rain dance roost the reason we've got another rain dance user if you haven't got it up with seismitoad obviously they work with each other can help seismitoad with the swift swim uh this helps with hurricane hurricane is 100 percent accurate in the rain uh surf is boosted because of the rain roost again i did have ice beam on this thing but again seeing that it was post game i had to take it off and i thought you know what roost fits in case you don't want to use potions and stuff also get rid of that flying typing what roost does if some of you guys didn't realize that roost actually gets rid of the flying typing so if you are got like a rock to a rock move incoming possibly click roost get rid of that flying typing you're going to take that hit a million times better than you were going to go into before and now you're going to hit it back with a super effective surf in the rain and it's just going to do really nice damage um modest nature base 98 speed it's quick enough as it is let's boost up that special attack as much as possible this thing actually in game hits really really hard Ducklet's a cool little derpy mon as well um if you do don't want to use this thing it's a very good hm slave as well can learn at least three i want to say three hms in the game so that's also a possible use for it as well but let, let me know what you guys think of Swana in the comment section below if you guys are giving it a go or not. Um, it's our 15 member, the elegance that is Swana. And then finally, you guys, we have my favourite water type to come out of the region, period. We have Jellicent. This thing's an absolute beast. Uh, I've been using this thing competitively recently, and I know we're talking about in-game stuff, but it's just bulky. Uh, I used it in uh, our custom the draft league that we do on the server if you guys aren't aware of that we have a discord server link in the description make sure you check it out um we have a little draft league in there that we like to play amongst each other uh, i drafted jellison and it actually went mvp for the season with most kills i managed to get most kills in the entire season with a jellison because it was just bulky and annoying and it really pissed people off and it can do the same in game base 100 hp really nice Base 105 special defense, really nice. You could up that um, special uh, physical defense and make it just bulk even more. We've got Modest just to boost up that special attack, get a bit more offense on it. Base 60 speed, it's fine. You don't need the speed on this thing because it's gonna guarantee take the hit anyway. Surf, Toxic, Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb. Again, more coverage. Shadow Ball is of course um, Stab because it's a ghost uh, water type. Surf, naturally, you're gonna give it to it special. 
Toxic, in case you do want to stall it out, this also thing gets stuff like Recover, so if you wanted to run a Toxic Recover Protect set, just to be an arsehole, you can. Sludge Bomb, again, a bit more coverage, because why not? Uh, this thing's great, it really is. If you're struggling to take out Grass types, this is definitely your thing to go into and try and deal with them. Um, obviously, you've got Swanner as well, but in case Swanner's down, you need to take out another Grass type, this is definitely your go-to. Uh, Sludge Bomb's nice, let's say you can Toxic it if it's not a Grass Poison type, of course. And it will be able to take those hits really, really well, even at super effective damage. Um, it's a really nice mon to use in game. I think it's massively overlooked. It's fantastic. It's our final team member. It is Jellicent. All right, then, you guys. So that's going to be it for today's Pokemon Team Builder Mono Water through Generation 5, Pokemon Black and White. Uh, let's quickly run through that team one through one more time again for you guys. Samurott, Seismito, Basculin, Caracosta, Swanner, and Jellicent. A nice mixture of free physical attackers, free special attackers, and I tried to get as many secondary typings in there for coverage as well. If you have enjoyed today's video, definitely make sure to smash the like button down below for our Chase Sports the channel and the series. Click the subscribe button if you're brand new, turn notifications on, you can join our Discord. Everything you need information wise is in the description down below. You can check out our other team builders as well, whether it be normal. Uh, mono we've had some themed ones in the past we've got so much team builder content coming to the channel as well we've got our new uh, brand new remastered team builders coming very soon please stay tuned for that you guys as well uh, next week will be black and white too so keeping on with the generation 5 theme but there's a mixture of more mods in there as well so definitely make sure you check that out we'll be back same time next week for another team builder with that being said you guys i'm gonna get out of here and i'll see you guys next time peace